We're here with John Collins, and he's tying. I'm tying the uh, swimming break affiliate. This is on a tied on a Daiichi 1770 swimming nymph hook. These are very large caddis larvae. They're free living carnivorous caddis larvae. Usually in the dark green. They call them the green rock worms. And these do not build a cocoon. They just you'll find them in the fast water sections of streams. What I'm doing here, I'm just bringing my thread all the way down. Now this fly will ride hook up. They can be tied in either hook up or hook down fashion. I want to put a nice thread base, uh, dark green Benici thread here. This is Benici 12 0 And then I'll come back right around to where the second bend going towards your hook eye starts. I'll take Antron yarn here. And I'll tie this in. And what this does, I bring it around the bottom. What this does, it represents the, the claspers that these cats have for living in their fast water environment. Bring that down right around, about a quarter way around the bend of the hook. This is a strange hook, so it's got bends everywhere. And AKA the name Swimming Nymph Hook. These caddis, when dislodged, move in the ball. They, they, they're very uh, active. They move a lot, so this shape suits them perfect. Why I call it the swimming rack affiliate. I come down about there, and how I make a little taper, I cut perpendicular with the hook shank. Now I put a good thread base over this. Bring my thread back up to the top. I stop there. Now I'll use the wire tubing combination, which I use in my electric caddis. And I attach the wire that's sticking out on the one end. I attach that first. Let me cut this shorter. I attach that, I put my thread over the wire first, bring that back, and now I will run my thread over top of the tubing. And I bring the tubing to the far side of the hook, covering with thread completely. You have to be very liberal with your thread on this fly, because it shows through the clear tubing. I bring that down to the point where I stopped the thread before, and now I make sure that I have a good thread base on this and cover it completely so there's no tubing showing through. I run this back up, turn to make sure my far side. Now I'm using 12 0 to keep black the body a little bit to the minimum. Get away with eight, eight, eight on thread if you, if you so choose. Bring this back. Make sure I cover these little spots up. And I throw a whip finish on the end here to keep the thread in place. Just one whip finish. Get my thread out of the way. Okay, now I'll proceed to wrap the wire tubing combination forward. What I do, I pull and I stretch the tubing tight so that it constricts around the wire. That's why I pull back on it. I'll continue to proceed up the hook shank. And as I go, I relax tension on it. This gives a slight taper to it as I bring it forward. Going forward all the way to where I just tied the thread off. Just 
make sure that when you wrap these that your wire tubing combination rolls off of itself. That way your, your wraps of the material will be nice and tight. Okay, now I'll stop here. Wrap my thread underneath three times. And now I'll flip that off with a pair of nippers so I don't throw my scissors. Push that forward and cover this with thread. here to hold this in place. Now my next step, these caddis tend to be flat body. With the wire tubing, you can flatten the body, you just take uh, pliers with no teeth, just flat pliers, and flatten the body. The wire will hold it in shape. So the side profile is thin, the top and bottom profile are wide. So you can see by the so bottom profile is wide, side profile is thin. Next, I change my thread color to a light olive. And I'm going to cover where I just uh, attached the wire after I cut it off. And this will match the ostrich curl that I'm going to attach for the legs. Take one ostrich curl, tie that in with the quill facing up, and this is going to be the legs. Cover that with thread. And if you notice, I'm using the thread to match the color of the ostrich curl, which is light olive. Now I'll proceed to wrap this forward. Get it just behind the hook eye. I'll tie this off. Bend this back so it doesn't go anywhere and then just snap it right off. At this point, the tying process is over. Put a whip finish there. Cut this thread. Now next, I take my lighter. Be very careful at this point. Just singe. Singe the top. Next, I take a brown Sharpie, because these caddis have distinct markings on there, and then just, just a couple brown spots with a brown Sharpie. Next, I'll take some clear cure goo, brushable. Make your shell case. I just wait a second and let the gravity take and shape the the, uh, the resin. And then I cure the light. I'll just take a little bit of clear cure to a hydro, which is very thin. Give this one more quick coat. And there you have it. Just another variation on my electric caddis. This is called the, the 
Swimming Rectophilia. Very nice. Thanks, John. Well,